In this lecture, we're going to install ASP.NET Core on IAS and deploy a sample MVC application to it. I'll be doing this on my Mac and then publishing it to an IAS server. We're here at the desktop of our Acme Widget server. It's server 2012R2 running IAS, and we're going to install ASP.NET Core onto it. Let's load up the server manager. The first thing we need to do is scroll down and go to Add Roles and Features. Click Next. Select Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation. Make sure your server is selected and click Next. Here we just want to make sure that IAS is checked. If you already have an existing IAS installation like I do here, it will be checked for you. Click Next. You can use the default options if you wish to install IAS here. Next, we need the .NET Core Windows Server Hosting Bundle available here. Download that and open it up. As you can see, a wizard comes up. Agree to the license terms and click Install. Now that is completed and we'll close this window and restart IAS. Next, we want to create an MVC app in .NET Core, and we'll just scaffold out a new site. We use the following command to create a new MVC site. .NET new MVC O MVC test. Now let's open up Visual Studio Code. Click Yes here to load the assets. Now let's run it to make sure that everything is here. Press F5 to build. Now I bring up a browser and go to localhost port 5000 and we can see our MVC site. We're actually not going to do anything with this site, we just want to use it to verify .NET Core is working on our server. In the terminal, type in .NET publish -c release. Now let's take a look at our project. Let's go into our bin folder and click on release. Now open the NetCore App 2.0 folder and open Publish. These are the files that we will want to copy to our server. This Publish folder is similar to how publishing worked in previous versions of ASP.NET, where the files and asset used for the website were all published into a folder. You'll want to copy the contents of this folder to the server. You can use FTP, Direct File Copy, or other methods. I'm using a shared folder on my Mac. Now we are back on the server and I'm going to create a folder on the drive and copy the website to it. I'll create a folder in my inetpub www root folder called .NET MVC. Then we will go to our server share and as you can see we have the files needed. I'll copy those into the folder that I just created. Now we need to go into IAS Manager. Click on the server and open up Sites. We only have the default site here, but we want to create a new website, so right-click on Sites and click Add Website. Here we will put on our site name as acme.net. We want to browse to our .NET MVC path, then click OK. As you can see, we have a warning because port 80 is already bound to IAS. Let's change that. Change it to port 5000 and save it. Now click on Application Pools. As you can see, we now have an Acme.NET application pool. Right click on it and select Basic Settings. Set the .NET CLR version to No Managed Code and then save it. Now we can go back to IAS Manager and right click on the website, select Manage Website, then Browse. And there's our MVC site again. 
This time it's running on IAS, and it's that simple. There are several ways you can publish to IAS, and we'll cover those different ways in this course. But this is the quickest way to get your ASP.NET Core application to an IAS server. .NET Core apps can run with or without IAS, but Microsoft recommends using IAS as a reverse proxy to your application for best results. We'll cover that more in coming lectures.